you got here just in time! Remember last week when we imagined our way under the Northern Lights? One of the wonderful wonders of the world! Well, another natural wonder of the world is Mount Everest! Check it out! The picture was amazing enough, but then my mom helped me read some amazing things about Mount Everest! It is over 29,000 feet high! I'm not sure how high that is, but it seems really high. Anyway, I learned that a lot of people have climbed Mount Everest. I'm sure it took forever! Well, you are here just in time to imagine our way to Mount Everest so that I, Callie the Courageous Climbing, uh, Climber, can climb Mount Everest, just like the people my mom read to me about. Are you ready? Okay, close your eyes. Think Mount Everest. Imagine Mount Everest. Okay, open your eyes. We're there! Whoa! That looks really high! There is no way I can climb that mountain! Ugh. I'm starting to think that I can't do this without help. This makes me feel sad and frustrated. I don't understand why I can't do it alone. Have you ever had to ask for help? How did it make you feel? I'm gonna take a break. Let's check out our Bible story for today. It is time for today's Bible story from the book of Psalm chapter 80. Remember last week we talked about what a Psalm is. Psalms are like songs or prayers that we give to God as a way of worshiping or showing God just how awesome and powerful we believe God is. A way we can worship God is by asking for God's help. The Psalm talks about how sometimes things happen that we really don't understand. Things that were good once, but aren't anymore. The psalm gives us a picture of a great vine or plant that once was so big that it spread all over and even covered the mountains. But then something terrible happened. Verse 12 says, why have you broken down its walls so that who can pass and pick its grapes? And verse 16 says, your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. The songwriter isn't talking about an actual vine. They're saying that it seems that everything in their life was going wrong, just like the vine had dried out. Sometimes when we're going through things we don't understand, we can feel a lot of big feelings. We can feel sad or angry, frustrated, or even confused. Psalms 80 uses the picture of the vine to express those big feelings and to ask God for help. Verse 19 says, Restore us, Lord Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. The psalm writer asks for God to make things good again like they were before. They want God to shine down like the sun when things look dark because he knows God can help. We can worship by asking for God's help. Whew, that Bible story really helped. It doesn't always feel good to have to ask for help. But it is so cool to know that when we ask God for help, we are actually worshiping God. That's a good thing. That means we are showing God how awesome and powerful we think God is. God is even more awesome than this huge mountain that God created. Which reminds me, God, will you help me climb this mountain? I know it's just imagining and it's just for fun, but I know you are great and powerful and you can help me. Amen. We have only one God, but there are many ways to worship. We can sing a song or say a prayer before we go to sleep. Ooh. God is listening to us from the moment. I just want to say that I think you're really great God, you are wonderful, so full of wonder God, you are wonderful, so full of wonder So full of wonder, so full of wonder God, you are wonderful You know what? 
just remembered? In those books about people who climbed Mount Everest, all those people had help too. They had people who guided them up the mountain. And I have you, friends. You can help me. We made it! Thanks, friends. And thank you, God. I think I'm gonna practice another way of worshiping from the top of this imaginary Mount Everest. Singing! Remember, friends, we can worship by asking for God's help. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Bye!